think the Ember... I mean, they're down to that five seconds. I feel like Secret actually gets stumped here. Bring back yeah. the Envy. I feel like that got stumped. I think yeah. VB have safer option. Uh, if he doesn't get slept, that is. Puppy. You put the sensory ward down so they know the ult is up. They have a pilot eye trapped inside the wall. He'll tether out, however. And the theory of being never really trapped at Slider Fist. Very only leveled up. God. Because we're going to see a lot of ghost scepters this game on people like AA and Disruptor because they can't defend themselves against that Omni Slash. They're running dual bottle here for mid lane. You want more regeneration. Oh, glimpse back bottom. Can I actually get the kill? Universe? Looking great. He's still locked inside the cult because the wall's coming up. The universe can't outrun this, even with the die creep wave there. That's just not enough support. Really FNG well was also very lucky to survive, retreating out of the top lane. They did take problem with that so well. Oh, they're going on a kill for a wisp. Misses the Syrian chain, so. Oh my god, that damage. So got Are they gonna get a double? It looks like if the cold feet won't be able to trigger. Movement speed from the arc with Snuff throws down the acid spray. And now Universe oh rotates god. in, so they do pick up the double kill. This Universe is is looking a for a cool kill way. over on the Ancient Apparition. If he can get the cogs off, uh, it would have been better, but it's 295 movement speed versus the 36. This is the most farm I've ever seen Puppy have on a hero that normally doesn't have much. So he's God. got tons of farm. He's looking for Fine Line Die, and they're gonna find him. The Quick Tether away. As Spray's already down, Puppy oh, straight grim. to the thing in script. Going on God, they're gonna try and glimpse him away and be successful. So you can say goodbye to Puppy with a Storm Shock going down soon. It's not really stopping on Easy or Eternal Envy. Eternal Envy is a little bit too far away from getting this bit onto a low hard dance, but finally he's able to just slice him up deep. But it's deep enough that they know where VP are moving. They understand they're not farming anymore. And then it's Eternal Envy who gets attacked up on the top lane. Yoku so right behind him. He's still got top available, so Envy knows he can't just get out of it. He's already buying Envy's item. Expecting death. Omni Slash to go. He doesn't find himself a kill. There's your first roar of the game. Kind of a waste, though. They, they really yeah. didn't need that. And you might be wondering why. A lot of, like, the, like the last six minutes down here on the bot oh, lane, farming up the side camps. They are TPing in. But, oh, the Storm Eternal Envy is going to get more Highlight Die. Relocate be prepared. He can't pull him out in time, however. He was going to take him all the way back to base. A little bit late on the relocate for Io, and that's going to cost him his life as well. Does he do the three second TP? I uh, can try it. He it's, doesn't. It's, it's very hard to hit. Goes down, so two deaths now. Pretty decent rotation from VP, and it's seven to one. Too long, and in fact, they actually end up, end up canceling him for FNG. So he triggers an extra books and adds pressures to tier two. They could fight. So now out. they know Universe hook shot in. You actually oh, finish the, the TP out, which means that the grip holds the Ember in position. You're gonna roar over as well, trying to kill off Pile High Die. Problem is, it's a two for one trade off. Ancient Apparition dropping. Concoction on cooldown for another two seconds. But RTZ will be prepped for that one. Going after FNG. FNG has to juke it in the tree lane. Difficult when he's surrounded by three heroes. There's the stun. And it's a double kill arriving for RTZ. And they've got the neutral creep down the alpha. It's going to amp up Ventful Spirit's damage. Here comes Puppy. They're going to smoke up. Universe has hookshot available. The Clockwork Rocket again. Perfect vision for him. There's the hookshot in. And the cops pushing Goku deeper inside the pit. They'll glimpse out the Clockwork, but the low one is still trapped inside the cops. He'll end up going down. Oh, Willie. Yep, he does. I will take that kill. God's bringing in a little bit more damage as well. The pile oh, died, you? making it difficult. They swap them back out again, but they're still burning down, having difficulty fighting underneath that alchemist radiance. But his chemical rage is also timed out. So it's a one for one trade off. Oh, Roshan's so low, bad. and he's going to have a crack at it. They're going to try and kill off Roshan. Oh, Where, is the Where is it? He gets past. They'll pick up the Aegis, the Immortal. Oh, some set of kills. The downside is you don't actually have the Necro three books to go with the FNG's initiation, yeah. which would like it should have okay. been a great one. They can maybe here. Uh, the BT support uh, coming in. Highlight die. He's so close. They get hit the ice blast. That's a kill right there. Relocate oh, won't save it, but the egg gets the immortal. That's what gets triggered. Highlight still stuck here, but the support's already getting up. Universe. He's got hook shot available. They get through RTZ and they take out the eye of the enemy. He jumps in. He goes to the only side. He bumps out the green wave, and now it's secret. Locked in with three under the storm. It's a Oh my God. Basically just... Out the extra magic, but with that on top, it's, top it's getting into a ridiculous territory. Oh, the triple TP. Team Secret, the blink roar so quick from FNG. The second he arrived, he was on the front line with a relocating against the 
If VP are moving aggressively into their jungle, that's not the case. They just have an observer ward watching that. Uh, puppy, observer. Well, for that one, the relocated is on the way. The ice blast, that's a dead puppy. No way to survive that. Oh, oh my god, it's not going to look too healthy either. When the spider fist hits him, he cannot regenerate in time. Spirit out, spirit in. The BKB has to be used as a safety mechanism. Just a little too far there for them to get the swap off. He used the drum charts. His last drum vanish going for Secret there, despite losing their two supports. But VP can turn this into a push. They've got 20 seconds to do tower damage or to try to kill another carry. Well, if E has to stand here for any longer, he may die. But it's the mid lane where they go. Uh, Alchemist already oh, stunned up. The ice blast is him nicely thanks to that hit. Yoku, oh, here's the push in universe, but no, the storm again. The low arm is so damn good on this disruptor. These storms, perfect positioning. No Universal will go. God will take a double kill. Puppy standing on the front line. God, too low. He's going to go down. Underneath tower, Eternal Envy bouncing around with an Omni Flash. He's still very low. Can they get him away with the Glimmer Cape? The Sun, not well, a Thunder Strike. They're going to glimpse him back over. Back into the Lion's Den. Virtus Pro. They're oh, making it work. This possible tower because Ancient Apparition didn't actually switch the aggro from the tower. And he dies to the tier 3. They're winning fights. And it's going okay, but every advantage that you don't get, it scares them. Ah, uh, relocate. They're headed down. Well, I say up. Into the into the dire jungle where the vengeful spirit walk underneath that dire observer ward. Hey, bottom, will they go in? Uh, FNG. Uh, the ice boss misses. They can't go. It's good for him. They didn't. Uh, Disruptor's still gonna die here, most likely. Yep. But better him than than Beastmaster. He still commit fiend script instantly to get that kill. Totally worth it, especially because Bane's a little under level. Through the top lane, so he's gonna reach the tier 3 tower in a moment. But Roshan is already dead. Yeah. The catapult, which has been dominated, runs in, but you've already got the Aegis Immortal in your hands. Such a huge other reason why I think he's gonna get the first eggs coming out of Alchemist. Just lower the cooldown of his ult and more HP. They scan, they find the heroes. They're gonna hook shot one. Universe hits it perfectly. Aloha dance, the main man may be caught, they forced off him out, and then the frame that Alchemist still gets the last hit. And Secret's happy to do this because they've got well, the they're Aegis. relocating. They're going for more. They want Yoku. No fear. Wow, Yoku. The ultimate betrayal. He swapped his teammate into the fight. Oh. They're very low armor. Four on the IO, eight on the Bane. He can deal with these guys. Oh, Envy, are you the one to die? And the smoke is going to break. Son of Mysterian uh, chains on him. They spear it up. They're expecting that Alchemist to actually be real, but it is not. And now playing Swart. Envy hang around. Universe jumps in. He gets himself out of the wall, out of the storm in time. And Eternal Envy, the Nightmare oh, from Puppy. Buy just enough time for Envy to get there. Well, still dead. Uh, the Aegis Deport is going to trigger. The Finder is a VP. Very closely grouped up. Envy is back. He doesn't have all these much available. So they don't have that huge injection of damage. But it's not stopping Artizi running forward, chasing up after FNG. Now the chemical rage is up, but he needs more life to survive. Backing out, probably also be glimpsed away to the safety area. And Pyline dies. Now he can buff up Artizi, but Artizi walled. Locked him, the tether broke as well. He wants to go for more. No fear is so low on life. And to Eternal Envy just needs five more seconds. Then you've got your Omni Slash away from the Great Wave. He goes inside the spin. Now Omni Slash back off cooldown and God isolated with no spirit available. Oh, he already used the side of fist. Now maybe maybe he can actually find more. You kill him the alchemist, but God bouncing around there, his spirit back up and he oh kills! He actually kills Eternal Envy! VP are down to two! God's gonna actually oh make God. it even Better. He just keeps going ham. The wave of terror. He swaps Universe back in. One second left, and then Universe is dead. God just oh, wait for it. No, he balls it up. He didn't actually hit the side of fist, but still, oh, it's an ultra God. kill for God. Oh and my God. God. What? I don't know. I don't just see the gift of his head on still. Secret to top hat and tails and basically just give them some serving platters because they are giving PP a meal. FNG will help take out that mid tower. God taking out the top racks at the moment. All this net worth that they're now working with. 6k gold on Ember Spirit. Uh, more Stedalus. Is, is, is it YOLO time? Oh, Raw gonna come off. They're looking at Puppy. The BTs are on their way. And who is it? Of course it's God. Puppy with a quick brain tap. Nightmares almost denies himself, but the Disruptor will be there. And now there's no Puppy for a minute. They're ready to go high ground. 
And it's a Monkey King bomb, which is being pulled by God. It's safer, just because there could be evasion from Elk and Jug doing the same. Very much could buy Butterfly. He goes for Scotty instead. So the MKB slightly wasted here on G. But Hulk up. Universe. He's just gonna push God back, but then Universe is gonna stuck here. Inside the wall, veiled up. He has taken a hell of a lot of damage from that. Pala is just gonna hold his hand through. They're playing it safe. They don't want to lose this game. They're ahead. Yep. Oh, Egg Pool. Who's it going to? It has to go the Juggernaut. You need more Omni Slashes from Eternal Envy. You need more power from him. It's flying in right now, and Eternal Envy is staying in closer. Yep, there it is, Eternal Envy with the Aegis buff up. God's on the front lines, Universe gonna cult push him back, but you've oh. still got God with the defensive spirit. They wall up, and now and it's Oh, no, Envy! The roar is on him! Will he be tanky enough to relocate? Pull them the out just in time! Hatini's still on the front lines, Poppy's also back alive as well. They swap in the arc with Poppy. Fiends goes up the vengeful spirit in the middle of his BKB. It won't last much longer though. And now the Omni Slash is almost all on Yoku and all get tanked up. Yoku will survive it. There are, however, two heroes down for BP. And now the rest of Secret. They can start going ham. Hatini. Massively, but this is mostly because of the Ags that Elf gave him. It counts as his network. But. Ag's Omni Slash, 70 second cooldown, you slash 12 times. It's like. Uh, this war is out of century. They see Aloha coming over. They can kill him here. This would be huge. They would love it. Eternal Envy, is it worth an ultimate? Aloha is going to turn on his own storm. But Eternal Envy's fine. Yet he has Glimmer caped up as well as locked in with a pipe with Piloted Tether. Yeah. So it doesn't take much damage at all. Guard as well. Uh. I guess that's pretty good. Oh, they're going in. Yeah, it's over on Universe. Oh. Gonna hook up the forward. Puppy did so quickly, though. And now Universe stranded in the middle of his own cog. Nowhere to go. He can't buy back. Neither can. That's two dead here. He's waited for the blink wall. The ice blast with a relocate. It pulls Envy up. He's Kobe. still affected by the ice blast, but he will survive. The problem is by the time he's back to full life, they will have lost their bottom ranks. They're trying to buy time. BKB goes in. Uh, he needs more damage, however. Pilot Eye comes back to the front line. The slot of fist point hit him, luckily. And then the jump board, Eternal Envy. Focuses on no fear, but he's lost inside the wall of a low hard dead. He's just trying to find him inside the cannon. But Eternal Envy, now he can break free. Pilot Eye triggers the teeth, gets a lot more life back into yeah. Envy. And he's going to bring down Khan. But you still just got Megan. You will repel Bonus Pro for now. Will he actually get the Ancient Impression as well? Yes, he will. But what? the damage Why? is being done, you are still... He's out so far. No ult. There's health though coming in from the Alchemist. He'll have to BKB to actually this stop that comes back. They find a low hard end. There's so many players from Bonus Pro that no. can be picked up. FNG's going to be the big one. You're going to lose him. Where are your buybacks? They are still available for Ember. VS and Beastmaster, so you're not going to get a counter ranks here, but picking up a low art dance, Puppy, four stars over, gets the nightmare, a low art trying to force up himself out, but in comes the concoction, they just wait for it, and he turns the radius off to make sure you can wait just they as long as you can. <laughs> That's going to be Universe with a double kill, there's no version to pick up. They, their timing windows for taking fights are so small, that was one of them, but VT just stood in their base. And now they're moving out themselves. Oh, oh shot the man to find FNG out of position. Relocate comes in as well. They are not holding on on anything. The second they find one here in a pick, should be able to get this unless the clockwork gets in here in time. He's so far though. Here comes Buffy. Clockwork needs to get there. He's off the way. The range is still... Okay, now he's actually oh, in range. He can hook shot from there if he wants to go in. Don't be so low on life. The hook shot goes on top of Yoku. The buybacks are on their way. You may actually have the outfit. Bit of a horrible position. Oh, he's locked inside the clock, but now they can move over to Yoku. A turn levy. The damage is the FDI. Faster over. Hit pilot. Hit universe. Oh, Don't come shot. in with the hook shot. Oh, and stop the attack. Oh, He'll try to fist. The damage is there from Puppy. What brains that? Goggle spirit away. Puppy oh, falls up. Puppy God. got him. He brings down. The Ember Sparrow, but still home in trouble. Universe defending these tier 4 towers. Combined, they don't even have 100 HP on bottom lane now. Below hard end. If he can't get close up, Paradise too low. He's signed to the green wave right now. They can't finish the job. The TP can come down from below hard end, but he's still hanging around. He's got ulti in 8 seconds time with the BT forward on bottom lane. Puppy's in trouble. FNG, roar in. He wants to kill our Puppy. The moment the ice blast on the way. You can say goodbye to that Bane. He'll go down for the count. Three heroes still up. Universe hook shots forward. He'll at least reveal that low hard dance. Eternal Envy. Where's the damage? Yep. There's the damage. Gets the uh, hit. They find the sun. They're able to kill him. <laughs> that would have been the game ending 100%. They're keeping it close. And now they're going to have ages. Oh, then they will. The 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 last one who takes it, though. He got the gold. That's true. The snatch is actually on the clockwork because the ancient apparition killed it with the ice blast. 
just to actually cap this off, really. But <laughs> they, they need to pick up the cheese. The courier's got it. They did lose tier four towers with. Uh, he's walking out right now. He's got the money. He's got the item slot. And this is probably going to be it. Yo, there it, it is. is. Divine Rapier. Typical MV style. Ooh. They look. They actually look towards Arteezy with a blink four from God. Arteezy, BKB, so the BT's available. There's war number one. Necro units are up. You still got a friend draw. Long work. A long range looking from Universe. He's going to split this fight. He's going to take Wendy. He can't reach it. He's going to scrub the wall. Keeps him out for now. Probably draw that to the back line too. The universe will pop. But that's the ABC model. On these last goes. They bring down FNG. And taking out the ancient Emperor. Just triple kill for a ten Levy. They move over to Yoku. The Ember Spirit is still up. But Yoku is down. It. There's four heroes down. However, the fortress is under it. It's honestly, he definitely needs the damage. He needs to do more damage, and it's getting into danger mode. They need to win a fight. They have. They can't win one fight. Heavy not going for the TT push. He's focusing on the ranks. The TT keeping four are they? The BTs come in from the Alchemist. Uh, TT's now on the front lines. The green waves around far enough. The team secret. They can hang around. The buybacks to come out now from Beastmaster as well as the items. Grab some ghost scepters and stuff. And on the bright side, the supports on Secret can't farm themselves. It's basically just going to be Alchemist and Jug. Ooh, that ice blast is on the way. Alohan's here. Ray is dropped the ultimate book. Oh, he gets both of it. In comes God. And this is trouble until the relocate happens. Oh, he still it. lost the Alchemist, however. Buyback is available, but Eternal Levy moving towards the front line. He wants to spin at least get some kind of revenge kill. Aloha is your primary target. Hooked up forward. Now you're on this ass. Goes work into the green wave. He's not bouncing back to Aloha oh, until now. He what? went back up. The double buybacks are here. Minutes into this game. That gold doesn't matter though. It really does. Look at how much they're holding. Alk's got 4k that he can't spend. Jug's got 2.5k. JK, well, he used to have more. Now he's got two rapiers coming. <laughs> Again, this is uh, shots. That, that's the backup rapier. EE will buy back and then grab out the rapier. Now you actually get an alchemist rapier as well. All right, they got to defend this. This is this is could be the last fight of the game. If you buy back, disrupt that the raw is over on Universe. God wants to pull him off. Yoku goes off Universe. Underneath the team for towers. Omni Flash is up. Ready for it to bounce around. How much damage can and you do? Eternal Envy right up. He's down. The double buyback to here. That includes rapiers on the deck. They want more kills. Puffy is low. Here comes the TP back in again. Oh, Alchemist the front line. God's already picked up a triple kill. He needs more space. No being being ripped apart by the Alchemist. Aloha will join him in the afterlife as they look for more kills. Where's the attack? There's no buyback to the structure as well as this AA. They have oh, to go back for your turn. Let me got the kill. God able to spirit himself away. He wants to do more damage. Five fists up. Searing change as well. The relocate finds his face. The fortress is almost down. It's actually dying. 48 AP is gone. Team oh, Secret trying to pull. But BT, they actually came in with just the green wave. They win it on the back of Megan. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Woo! They fought that so well too. RT's like, R Radiance down, it's rapier time, baby. And they took the fight, they almost got that. If, if those creeps weren't in their base there, they might have won that. Because they got, they got God so low. He did have buyback, but all it takes is like two seconds of jug hits, and Ember Spirit goes down. That was such a good game.